Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Thursday night, the Mets won their seventh in a row, completing a four game sweep of the Phillies. It wasn't easy. The <laughs> Mets beat the Phillies in 13 innings, 9 to 5. Mets were down 5 0, hit three home runs to tie it, and then waited until the 13th inning for the four run rally, and it came in uh, remarkable fashion. Yeah, it did. Uh, Jonathan East just didn't have it. He gave up five runs in his six innings of work, got through six innings, but it really was the bullpen seven innings of a uh, shutout baseball a late rally with Murphy who was in the middle of everything remember the Larry Boa incident to saying that they wanted the Phillies to maybe hit him you didn't know if they were going to hit him and yesterday's game they didn't and he got the big hit uh, the first uh, hit that the Mets got with the runner in scoring position I took a swing on the on the 1-0 and and was able to make an adjustment, but I have to say the inning started long before that. I mean, Carlos Torres comes up, uh, gets a base hit up the middle, running the bases hard. Granny has, I don't know, felt like a 9, 10 pitch at bat, gets a base hit. And uh, so the table was set long before I got up there, and, uh, you know, fortunately I was able to get a base hit in that situation. Dan Murphy can stink and hit, flat hit. And when he's swinging it good like he is right now, uh, He's dangerous and we're dangerous. And the other hero was Carlos Torres, yeah. who went two and a third for the win and had the leadoff hit in the 13th and scored the go-ahead run, and he and Murphy made the defensive play of the year. I mean, the best part of Torres' pitching might have been his speed as he covered first base and, uh, of course, scored the go-ahead run. No, it was just going back up the middle, and it just happened to hit my foot. I mean, I, I do throw my foot up sometimes, but I'm not quite sure I did it on that time. I'm just happy that uh, Murph stayed at home, uh, picked up that ball, and made a good toss over... Uh, over first base. You know, hats off again to CT. I know I'm singing his praises because he did such a great job tonight. Um, but to continue to stay with the play because I flipped that and I didn't really know where I was flipping it, and I'm really glad he was there. Well, you'll see it in tonight if you turn your TVs on. It'll be, a, be shown many times. There's a reason why Carlos Torres wears soccer shoes when he plays. <laughs> Yesterday, the ball club asked me to come into a situation and, uh, you know, get out of uh, that inning maybe get the next inning, settle things down. And uh, I let down the team, my teammate, yesterday. And to be given this opportunity, I was, I was uh, grateful to be given the opportunity today to come in and try to help out the ball club again. And uh, I'm happy that today I got the job done. Bullpen, unbelievable job. I mean, zero after zero after zero uh, putting up today. So it was a great team win. And so the Mets sweep the Phillies a four-game series in Philadelphia for the first time since 2002. And they go home with a seven-game winning streak after an 8-1 and one road trip. They welcome in the Red Sox on Friday night with Matt Harvey on the mound. Our coverage begins Friday night at 6 o'clock with Cadillac first pitch on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.